NFTs, a type of digital art that is all the rage, but is it hyper actual substance? Could the next Picasso or Van Gogh come from a digital creator? Now to the latest trend that's sweeping the internet. So called NFT. They're now selling for huge bucks. $69 million. Oh so what's behind this latest craze? That is the question to ask. Footballers are a rare breed. They live and breathe glamour. They date beautiful models. They spend a fortune on luxurious cars, limited edition sneakers and Rolex watches. But now they are spending their riches on something new altogether. Footballers are buying cartoon monkeys. Yes, you heard that right. Cartoon monkeys. Recently, Neymar Jr. has purchased two new NFTs for his collection, both from the same content creator, the Bored Ape Yacht Club. He purchased them using Ethereum, a form of cryptocurrency. Neymar purchased the NFTs, which if converted to real money would be around $460,000. But why are footballers spending thousands on cartoon monkeys? Well, profit is the name of the game. I have done $91 million in revenue on my vFriends NFT launch. People have made millions by flipping NFTs and now footballers are getting into the game. However, we're moving too fast. Let's start from the beginning. These cartoon monkeys are NFTs or non-fungible tokens. NFTs are digital assets that are bought and sold for large sums of money, just like a piece of art or a football sticker or sports cards if that helps you understand. NFTs can take different forms like monkeys, cats, dogs, pixels and even music. I know it might still sound way too confusing but we will get there. The monkey NFT that Neymar just bought is called the Bored Ape Yacht Club. Bored Ape Yacht Club is one of the most high profile NFT projects which compromises 10,000 monkeys better known as apes. Each ape is different with special features such as chains, glasses, cigarettes or caps. They are now traded on OpenSea for eye-watering sums of money. For example, rapper Eminem bought one on New Year's Eve for almost half a million dollars. The Twitter feed of Chelsea defender Rhys James is not particularly active, but when he does post to his 740,000 followers, it's pretty much what you would expect of a young footballer. Among the on-pitch action shots and motivational captions, one recent tweet stood out. James shared a picture of his new Mutant Ape, an NFT from Mutant Ape Yacht Club. John Terry's OpenSea account reveals that he holds 47 different NFTs across two different accounts on the platform, including Honorary Ape Kids Club artwork of himself, his wife Tony and two children as cartoon monkeys. Many of these have been bought for thousands of pounds. By far the most valuable NFT in his collection is a mutant ape. Because all transactions are recorded, we can see how much Terry paid for his ape. He paid £23,400 for the NFT on Christmas Eve. Liverpool's Trent Alexander-Arnold also owns an NFT of legendary boxer Muhammad Ali, rapper Snoop Dogg, basketball star Stephen Curry and famous American entrepreneurs also own bored ape NFTs. Well, now you might be thinking, why would anyone spend thousands of dollars on these pictures? Well, it's not spending, it's more of an investment. NFT is the new internet, or some might call it, something that can make you rich five years down the line. People have made millions by buying NFTs for a low price and then selling them for a higher price. It's called flipping. It has existed forever, from the times of exchanging cards, toys and comics for profit, and we're currently seeing a colossal wave in the NFT space. These footballers could make huge amounts by flipping their NFTs for more money in a short space of time, or prices could suddenly collapse. Nobody can predict how the market will move next. As well as owning an NFT of a cartoon monkey, holders also get members-only benefits, including a collaborative graffiti board and the ability to purchase exclusive items such as BAYC clothing. A recent article in Input magazine detailed a lavish party for BAYC owners in New York City, featuring A-list entertainment like comedian Chris Rock and music from The Strokes. These cartoon monkeys were initially sold for £200, but now they're getting sold for massive amounts of money because celebrities have started buying them. The Premier League is considering the option of launching an NFT collection next season, and clubs including Manchester City and Rangers have already got in on the act. Fantasy football game Sorare also used the technology for a fantasy football trading card game. And Premier League stars including Andrew Robertson and Luke Shaw have lent their brand to NFT companies. Bored apes, though, are far too expensive for ordinary fans. This is now an exclusive club for already very rich people, way beyond the means of most football supporters. 
It's too early to tell whether the Bored Ape phenomenon will turn out to be a fantastic investment for those football stars or the peak of a speculative bubble that is about to go pop. But if it's the latter, the multi-millionaire footballers will probably still be fine. Less affluent fans who attempt to copy their heroes, however, may not be. NFTs may be good investments, but they are not something we can use on a day-to-day -day basis. However, there are fan tokens that we can use. But first and foremost, what is a fan token? Fan tokens are a form of cryptocurrency that gives fans the right to vote on the operations of the club. Fans are also provided access to special merchandise, promotions and games, amongst a few other benefits. For example, the first poll conducted by PSG allowed fans to vote on the inspirational message that goes on the armbands of the players. Galatasaray allowed fans to choose the song that plays when the team enters the field, while Juventus let the fans choose the song that is played when the team scores a goal. The first poll by Barcelona will let fans pick the design of the mural that will be used as the decoration in the dressing room of the Camp Nou. There are many other such voting rights given by the clubs as well. The crypto fan tokens can also provide monetary benefits. If the demand for the tokens increases, their price increases as well. Fans can sell their tokens at rates that are higher than their buying price to enjoy capital gains, just the way PSG fans would have earned after Messi got transferred to their club via the PSG fan token. Anyways, this is a vast topic and we can go on and on about it, but you tell us, do you also dabble in crypto and NFT? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our juicy content. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.